Hey TK, it's time for us to work on some math. Today we're going to be continuing our work with Gus the Plus. Our objective today is a little bit different because I included some different vocabulary in it. Vocabulary means some new words. So we're doing something similar to what we've been doing, but I'm going to teach you some new words that we can use to talk about it. So let's go ahead and hear our objective so we can get started. Objective is what we are going to learn. I can solve a story problem using a picture, by drawing a picture. So I circled the word solve here. We haven't really used that word yet, but to solve means that we're going to be finding the answer. And the way that we find the answers to math problems is by writing a number sentence, which is what we've been doing. So basically today, we're still gonna be writing our number sentence for our story problems. I'm gonna go ahead and underline that one in blue. We've been hearing story problems where I tell you the story and you have to find what we're adding up using Gus the Plus to help us find the answer. And I underlined by drawing a picture. That is the strategy that we're using to help us. Remember, I used that word strategy yesterday, kind of like a tool, like how we have our objective tools that help us with our objective. Our strategy helps us with whatever we're doing. So our strategy today is to draw a picture and it's going to be helping us to solve our story problems. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. I love how a lot of you used your addition practice sheet yesterday. That was super awesome. We're gonna be using that again today. If you forgot to put it in the whiteboard packet and you used crayon or marker on it, unfortunately there was only one of those in your packet, so you might need to go ahead and draw out a new one for yourself. We're gonna need a line and we're gonna need the box that you draw your picture in. Remember, we're not using the 10 frame or the number line yet. Those are gonna be other strategies that we'll learn later, but we're gonna keep practicing our drawing a picture strategy first. So to begin, we're gonna talk really quickly about what Gus the Plus helps us do. So let's say our rhyme together. He takes two things and puts them together, adds them up because more is better. Let's do it one more time, do it with me. He takes two things and puts them together, adds them up because more is better. So today we're gonna to be using Gus the Plus to help us, and he's gonna be adding some things up in our story problems. So we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna do another example with you today with our story problem where I draw a picture, and then you're gonna do one by yourself. Okay, so let's start with a story problem about Peter and the Wolf, because we've been talking about hidden reading. So, Peter went walking in the meadow, and in the meadow, he saw two butterflies. I'm gonna draw two butterflies because I heard about that in my story problem. And he saw four bushes. So I'm gonna draw four bushes. One, two, three, four. How many things did Peter see in the meadow all together? Ooh, there's that word all together. Remember, that word tells me that I need to count everything. So, he saw two butterflies and four bushes. If I wanted to know what he saw all together, I would need to count the butterflies and the bushes. And remember, we have to solve this story problem by writing a number sentence to it. I already have my picture here, so now I need to think about my number sentence. I drew two butterflies, so that's the first number I'm gonna write. I also drew four bushes, so that's the second number I'm gonna write. Now, in order to add them all up, because I heard the word all together, so I need to add it all up, I need the help of Mr. Gus the Plus here. He's gonna help me add it all up, and to figure out what two and four is, I'm gonna count all my things here that Peter saw on his walk. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So I know with my equal sign that tells me two and four is six. So to help me figure that out, I drew a picture about the story I heard, and then I wrote my number sentence to help me solve it. Easy peasy. I'm gonna give you guys a story problem now, and your job is going to be to draw a picture about that story problem, and then to write your number sentence to solve it. Okay, so here comes your story problem. Okay, it's been really hot out, so we're gonna pretend for this story problem that we're at the beach. So here we go. I went walking on the beach, and I saw five fish and three seashells. How many things did I see at the beach all together? So there's your problem. I went walking on the beach and I saw five fish and three seashells. How many things did I see all together at the beach? All right, so you're gonna write your number sentence and draw your picture to help you solve that story problem. Great job, guys.